If I tell you that left or right handed ships are a real thing, you might not believe me, but actually they are. Of course, we're not talking about left or right handed in the conventional sense. What we're actually referring to is the direction in which the propeller turns. Looking at a ship from a stern, you'll know that the propeller would be spinning to power the ship ahead. From this angle, if it's spinning clockwise, we say that the ship is right handed, and if it's anti clockwise, then she's left handed. An easy way to remember it is to think about which way the top of the propeller is moving. If it's moving to starboard or to the right, the ship is right handed. Obviously, with a controllable pitch propeller, it will always be spinning in the same direction, no matter if the ship is going ahead or astern, so it's easy to see whether she's right or left handed based purely on propeller rotation. With a fixed pitch propeller, when you go astern, you need to make the propeller spin in the opposite direction. Now, although you change the direction, you have not changed whether it's right or left handed. You still reference only the head rotation when talking about right handed or left handed ships. Even though you make the propeller spin anti-clockwise to go astern, she is still right-handed. So why do we even care if a ship is right or left-handed? Actually, it has a huge impact on how the ship will handle. It even has an impact on smaller boats, so like your normal yacht and things like that. Even for those, it's important to know if she's right or left-handed. Unlike cars, ships don't have any brakes. If you stop the propeller spinning, she's going to continue running ahead purely under her own momentum. Of course, she will gradually slow down due to the resistance of the water, but that's not much good if you're approaching a berth and trying to stop in a certain position. To stop, you actually run the engine astern. And this is where right or left handedness of a vessel starts to have a real effect. A right handed fixed pitch propeller will make a ship take a dive off to starboard when you run the engine astern. Of course, if you're expecting it, you can use that to help you get the ship to go where you want it to go. Maybe you want to kick the stern towards a berth as you're approaching, or, or something like that. But why does this actually happen? Well, looking at the side profile of a ship, you can see she's designed to run ahead. The propeller is pushing water straight astern, applying a little bit of spin to it as it goes. When that same propeller runs astern, the water is thrown towards the hull, still with its small amount of spin. The interaction with the hull is what causes the effect. Imagine the pressure areas around each of the propeller blades. The water ahead is experiencing higher pressure, and the water behind lower pressure. The blade is throwing the water off, so that higher pressure is rotating around in the same direction as the propeller itself. As it is thrown towards the hull, the higher pressure hits the hull first, inducing a force moving the stern sideways. Likewise, the low pressure is sucking water away from the hull on the other side, exaggerating the effect. Looking from above, if there's a force applied to the stern, clearly the ship is going to start a turn under the influence of that force. As long as you're expecting it, you can work with it to make your life easier when docking. So far, we've looked at the effect of a right-handed fixed pitch propeller, but the same applies to controllable pitch propellers. It just happens in the opposite direction. A right-handed controllable pitch propeller will tend to turn the ship to port when running astern. This is because the propeller always spins in the same direction regardless of whether it's producing a head or a stern force. Check out my video on how a controllable pitch propeller works if you want to see more. But how do we apply all this in real life? Let's take this ship as an example. I'll say she's got a fixed pitch propeller, she's right handed, and we want to do a three point turn here in this river. This is exactly the same as turning around in a tight marina if you're in a small yacht. The nautical phrase for a three point turn is turning short round. Right hand, fixed pitch, means she's going to want to turn to starboard when you're running astern. So, as we approach, we're going to run the engine astern to take off the last of the forward motion. She's going to naturally start a slight turn to starboard at this point. Once you have her stopped, you can put your rudder hard over and give a good kick ahead on the engine. Depending on the rudder, she might start to pick up speed quite quickly, but she should also be turning to starboard at the same time. All you do is you run astern again, taking off that little bit of headway, and she should continue to turn in the direction that you want. And the same applies when you're approaching a berth. The same vessel approaching a quay can come in at a slight angle. As she gets close, the engines can go into a stern to stop her. The right-handedness of the propeller walks the stern in towards the quay, almost making it look like the ship has docked herself. The act of walking the stern one way or the other has meant the effect is called propeller walk. 
You may hear a lot of boaters referring to propeller walk when they're boat handling. On larger ships, we tend to call it transverse thrust instead. It's just a slightly more technical way of describing the same effect. So next time you're on a boat and somebody tells you that she's left-handed, you'll know that they're actually being serious. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully you found this topic interesting. For more like this every other Friday, be sure to subscribe right here on the channel. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.